Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this webinar today. I'd like to share with you eight certain ways that Mao said tried hardly to minimize the energy consumption, the power consumption, and optimize battery life in Mao said Lul One sensors. And we will take use some testing reports of Mao said AM100 series, the ambience monitoring sensor, and EM500, the environmental monitoring sensor, as example, uh, in the in the explanations. As you know, in the Lola applications, in the Lola One world, you know the power consumption is the key, is the fundamental to decide whether is a project succeed. Whether is a successful case, but the power consumption is not easy. It's difficult to find when customers, when they purchase the sensor and take it back in the office, it have to use、um, several months or at least、uh, a few years, like one or two years. Then you can find well, it's not so strong enough in. The In the battery, as they declared, so you would take much more resources. You would to、uh, spend the money in human resources to replace the battery in the field that may be far away from your from far away from your office, far away from where you live or where you work. So, we strongly recommend or strongly advise our customers to take this power consumption. Into your considerations when you evaluating the different brands of the Lola One sensors that especially battery powered. Well, why you choose Lola One solution? Choose Lola One based sensors. I think one of the purpose is to transmit data wirelessly using as little power as sub. As possible, and low one sensors are typically powered by battery, a battery source that has limited,、um, that has a limited life lifetime of the battery,、um, battery working life. In the mile side, we has a professional designer.、Um, we we are a professional designer of the battery powered. Low one sensors. We have been especially concerned with wireless,、um, wireless sending the low rate sensor data,、uh, transmit over many kilometers while minimizing the battery power use. So, I will cover each of these eight,、uh, eight ways or eight aspects individually. But here is a quick recap: the choice of low one classes. As end devices or low one sensors have different requirements regarding power consumption, low one specifies、um, three classes for them: class A, class B, and class C work in different power usage trans,、uh, power usage strategies. You know, and amount of data and frequency of sending data. The smaller the data amount, the less frequently for sending data. The more power you can save, the more power you can save in battery. So that's another aspect. In MCU hardware components, most Lola One sensors devices will have a Lola radio radio chip and a separate microcontroller, which both use power. So the battery, the better hardware components, the better power optimization. And software op optimization is also very important. Manufacturer needs to have done a good job to design the low one sensors and to write the software for it. Then the sensors go into as low a power state as possible when they are not doing anything. The spreading factor. The numbers go from spreading factor seven to twelve、uh, for each step up. The transmit time doubles. Of course, the coverage distance doubles as well, which means、um, the motion or the sensor is up and running longer and consuming or costing more energy in the higher spreading factor. And sleep mode. Almost all low one sensors should support the sleep and active two modes. Besides that. 
you can find something else in Mileside AM 100 series. Antenna, antenna impedance. Most users only think about power saving from the above six aspects, and the antenna of Lola One sensor usually is inside of the enclosure box. Is inside of the Of the sensor, so usually the antenna parts don't come to mind, but it's a not a very important part for the power consuming. And a rigor of testing can help you find something bad, something unqualified before shipping out to your customers. So please make sure that your unit has been comprehensively tested before they out of factory. Well, taking the application needs into our consideration, the Lola Alliance defines three classes for different power usage,、um, power usage strategies, which are Class A, Class B, and Class C. In Class A, we can simply understand that sensor is always in sleeping until it is activated to send data. So Class A has the lowest power consumption. Usually, those types of sensors are powered by battery, and you can find that sensors like the trash can sensor, the garbage can monitoring, the smoke monitoring, the gas emission monitoring, they are supporting Class A. Those those types of sensor, because it only required to send data regularly. Class A is the most suitable class to this kind of applications. And in Class B, the gateway initiates communication by transmitting downlink messages, so the end device can receive additional windows at at the、uh, scheduled fixed time intervals. This class has the medium power consumption, the middle level. Usually, the locators, the valve controlling meters, they prefer to support Class B. And finally, in Class C. The end devices of this class have nearly continuously open receive windows, which can only be closed when transmitting. So Class C end devices use more power to operate than Class A or Class B. For instance, the street light controlling system often uses Class C. And Class A has the lowest power consumption, and mild side use. Ah,、uh, mild side. All Lola One sensors, no matter is the temperature, humidity, or the ambience monitoring, or the environmental monitoring sensors, all of our、um, models are supporting this most energy efficient Class A by by running off、um, the the lithium batteries inside. And for the purpose of time, I put these two together on the same slide. Well, as well as the fact that they are re- related, you know. However, the, the amount of data, the amount of data, is decided by the end device manufacturer. By the manufacturer, and the frequency of sending data is always set up by customers, by you. The smaller the data payload the device is sending. The last time, the device needs to be powered up. Even with the low power usage, Lola gives you the transmitting data still uses power. So data is sent in bytes, and mild side we smartly encode the data and convert the numbers to hexadecim, which use the minimum bytes and the same the power. So technically, we improved. And if you need. If you want to send messages less frequently, the device is in its low power consumption or low power sleeping mode, so the battery will naturally last longer. For instance, a sensor taking reading of the carbon dioxide inside a building to monitor the air quality. As you know, carbon dioxide isn't going to change rapidly. To read once every hour will be enough. But to read every five minutes is just a waste of energy. Even for things like temperature, like humidity, or the soil moisture,、uh, 
、uh, their data only significantly change over the course of hours rather than minutes. So having permanent accuracy isn't necessary for this kind of applica- applications. And due to your settings, your battery potentially could be changing every two months or every two years, which is different. And all mile side sensors, low low end sensors, can support the shelf define of the report interval. The maximum period you can set up is from、uh, is maximum one thousand eighty months, eighteen、uh, minutes. Sorry, one thousand and eighteen minutes. It means eighteen hours that you can set up the report interval. And from manufacture side. Milesite works in professional way to send the data as smallest as possible. It's perfectly it's perfect to extend battery life with a longer report interval by your settings. And most Lola One sensor devices should have a Lola radio chip and a separate microcontroller unit, or we call it MCU unit, that both use power. When designing the hardware. Milesight selects the most qualified components from the MCU supplier, like ST Microelectronics,、um, this very famous and reliable supplier, which has done many works to minimize the power consumption already. So we can cooperate with the best supplier, component supplier, and install or assemble this best. Sensor, the all-in-one sensor. And sensors are much simple in functionality. They only used for data collection, right? So, in order to save power, the communication module and microcontroller unit in a sensor device must be in sleep state as long as possible when they are not active to collect the data. And with the help of professional equipment, we can easily optimize the efficiency of each component and hardware interfaces to use the minimum power to achieve their duty on sleep mode and active mode. For example, in the sleep mode, the standby current of the AM100 series sensor is 15 percent, at least lower than the similar products according to our test in the same environment. So you can fully trust. We are serious about this testing. And in Lola terms, the amount of the spreading code applied to the original data signal is called spreading factor (SF), which impacts. The communication performance of Lola that uses、uh, SF between seven and twelve for each step up, the transmit time doubles. A higher spreading factor in- increases the time on air, which increases energy consumption. It costs more power, so but reduces data rate and improves communication range. So using. Lower spreading factor relies on network coverage. Using higher factors will allow messages to travel to travel、um, to go to reach further or reach longer distance and still be received when interfering factors are in play, such as buildings、uh, between the devices and gateways. So, by adding more gateway to your network. Can keep using lower spreading factor and extend battery life. And from the testing result of Milesite, the EM500 series, the environmental monitoring sensors, you can clearly find that with the same data report interval at every 10 minutes, the smaller spreading factor used, the longer battery life in sensors. So you can find、uh, much difference, like. Almost four years difference. So, and Milesite sensors we support ADR, the adaptive data data rate mechanism for optimizing data rates, air time, spreading factors, and finally reducing the energy consumption in the network. 
And in the sensor, um, it comes with a screen. Well, the AM one hundred series sensor. Well, when the data, uh, where the data information is visible directly, but with mean, which means more energy consumption. So Marsight has done a good job of designing sensors and the writing software for them, and they go into as a lower power state as possible when the sensor is doing nothing. If it's not working, just go sleep. And in Marsight AM one hundred series sensors, there is a feature named Smart Screen Mode, so customers can easily take use of the Smart Screen function according to the direction by the PI motion. If there is no personal activity for twenty minutes continuously, sensor can stop updating data information on that screen. It still works, but stop, but just stop date data um. Updating on the e-ink screen so as to save the power and extend battery life. This smart screen mode is enabled by default, so it means once you receive it, this function is enabled as standard. And from this table, we can clearly clearly find that smart screen mode has an evident effect on the battery life. Potentially fifteen percent less if data stops updating on the screen in comparison to the same mode,、uh, to the smart mode disabled. Well, in this example, if we enable it and we test it, compare it to the disabled mode, well, you can find、uh, several month difference. An antenna makes the sensor wireless. It is the most critical component that sends the signal into space. The antenna impedance acts as a load impedance for the transmission line that carries the signal to the antenna. Mile-side Lulua sensors are coming with the active antenna impedance matching function, which reduces the power consumption to the minimum. For example. When the transmit power reaches 20 dBi, the energy consumption of the Lulu One sensors can be reduced up to 10 percent through the antenna impedance optimization. So we spent a lot of money to introduce the professional testing equipment. It looks ugly, but it's very helpful and important testing machines. And comprehensive testing—that's the last factor, the last bullet that we need to think about to design、um, to design Lo Lo One sensor. It is important to minimize its power consumption from the first beginning of the hardware design to the final testing phase. How can we guarantee the optimal power consumption is state for sensor? Well, I think. Only the comprehensive testing is the only option, the mandatory step. On the final testing procedure, the highly sophisticated measuring instruments or equipment are worked to detect to measure the performance of components entirely, which is beyond the capability of the main power. If we just manually to test, I don't think we can find. And we measure the power cons power usage of a few milliamps in idle and above one hundred milliamps during the transmission of data. While this is not bad and could give us quite some battery life, we knew it could be done better. Okay, in my side, we can ensure that every component. In the our Lolo One sensor device is in the most optimal power consumption state when it is shipped out of the factory. So let's have a conclusion. So today, power consumption is one of the most constraining requirements for design and implementation of Lolo One sensors, and you know how the the expensive cost of The electrical, the power,、uh, electricity, the worldwide for the business use. So I think if you are choosing Lolo One sensors, or、uh, well, the longer battery, it means 
um, the more saving in the future. So, in this webinar, we have explained eight certain ways to minimize the energy consumption and optimize the battery life in mild side low low one sensors. And I think, guys, if you have if you have any question or if you don't understand of uh, one of the aspect or one of this method, well, you can you can write to us. You can contact your sales account or the technical support in Mile Site. And for more information about how the technical team at Mile Site can help you to achieve your business targets by using Lol One devices, welcome to contact Mile Site. So thanks very much for staying with me until the last slide. So see you next time, guys. Bye bye.